SDR Play has two manufacturers in the UK. One is TT Electronics in Hartlepool. The other is Walkbury Electronics in Peterborough. Here's a bit more about Walkbury. Well, here we are in the Walkbury premises here in uh, Peterborough, and I'm with Gary Lewis. Gary. Um, so we're prim primarily a subcontract uh, PCB assembly company. Uh, so uh, we cover a huge multitude of, of different businesses from uh, Royal National Institute combined in the day, right the way through to Grand Square military radios and just about everything in between medical, automotive, uh, many, many industries. Um, company was founded in 1978, uh, initially as a design only company. And in any businesses they evolved, people asked for prototypes and we said, okay, yeah, we'll do, we'll do a few prototypes. Um, and eventually uh, the business model moved away from design and into, into manufacturing. Um, as director, so we're a family run business uh, of one of three sibling brothers. Um, we took over the business from its uh, founding uh, directors in 2001. Uh, and we brought with us uh, a range of different skill sets. Uh, Chris, who is uh, the managing director here, was production manager uh, beforehand and had 20 years experience uh, in Walkbury before we even uh, were approached to maybe uh, join him uh, in this new venture. Uh, I was a project manager historically in the IT background and Mark, the other director, was uh, sales and marketing for a large uh, retail uh, company, Scottish Power. As I recall. So we bought like, these different um, skill sets uh, to Walkbury uh, and found our, found our roles uh, and we have grown uh, probably threefold since, since those times. I think we like to think of ourselves as quite a, a cautious company but we're not big risk, risk takers by any stretch of imagination but I think our key uh, business model is investment in technology over, over uh, manpower where possible. We, we, I guess we've been ha having a relationship for what six years now Ooh, since yeah, we, at least, we started, yeah. and yeah. Um, I think one of the things we found that uh, you were very um, versatile when it came to uh, setting up that really our first uh, ever product, the RSP one, and yeah, we were uh, I, I, learning as we went. Yeah, it's quite a uh, it's quite a densely um, populated uh, assembly. Quite, I don't think there's anything che technically challenging. With the assembly other than that it's that it's very dense um so things like reflow profiles and things like that have to be absolutely spot on but that's the nature of our business really that, that's what we're that's what we're here to do i think as a as a company in terms of interaction with our customers very flat management structure so usually with any customer there'll be one of the directors associated with with that customer i think in your case it's mark um uh, and basically he will be your should be your single point he's not here at the moment because of covid but um a single point of contact uh, yeah. uh, throughout the business relationship and we find that works very well it, it gets rid of a lot of um, uh, red tape as it were uh, and allows um, us to turn we, we can be very very reactive yeah um thank you very much for letting me come and uh, a pleasure as always film a lot of that goes on here it's really really good thank you thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm with John Siti in Woodbury, who's kindly uh, agreed to let us uh, see the manufacturing process for the RSP Duo. So what, what's the first part of the process? The first part of the process is a um, blank PCB panel will be loaded into the loader. These are kept in racks. From here, they're automatically loaded into the machine. They'll go into what is the deck printer. So the stencil is fitted into the machine. Paste is then applied to each of the pads on the bare PCB, and it is then inspected for solder paste quality and quantity.
So once the PCB has been fully populated within both machines, it will come out onto this conveyor where an operator can have a quick visual inspection over the board to make sure there's nothing obviously wrong before it goes into the oven and the solder paste is melted. So basically if you get an error, it depends what it is. Sometimes it's the pick and place, you know, sometimes you're going to have error with the tape. So the tape is too long, sometimes you're going to get the tape out of the tape. So, so you just have to look into the problems, the errors you have. Okay. So this is the oven that the board will go into. There's several sections of the oven where the temperature increases gradually and then it's cooled down so the board can come out the other end. We try to make sure we have to run it at a temperature that's not going to damage the board or any of the components. So I'm with Harry who's going to talk through the optical inspection process. It's uh, taking high detailed images at a very high resolution. As you can see on the screen now, puts those mosaic images back in order. And it will use certain algorithms, either doublets or HR4, to be able to render 3D images from a 2D image which I'll be able to show you in a second. So we can take a high detailed look at an area of the board. And there you have a very nice looking Phillips Across all of your resistors, capacitors, you can see that all of your SOC components are nice and level and also very well soldered. You can also see the different height levels of different components. So what's happening here John? So all the second stage parts have been fitted and inspected, so now being fitted into cases, aerials being fitted and getting ready for final test. Okay, so this is the uh, final test using SDR test procedure. Uh, what this will do is test each frequency on both channels and let us know whether it's a pass or a fail. Um, and all that prints out a label. Uh, then from this point, we'll put it in its final production package, uh, final sales packaging, and uh, pack up ready to be shipped out the door. Our thanks to the staff at Walkbury Electronics. For more information about STR Play, go to www.strplay.com.